you're in your mid-20s at the time. I mean, how did you get the capital to grow that business? I mean, how- Well, I didn't. I didn't have any capital. Um, my family didn't have any money. Uh, I didn't have any money. You know, luckily, I didn't have a lot of responsibilities at that time, so I, I could take the risk. But I was supported with the Prince's Trust, very luckily. And then later on, uh, we did various awards, and I was lucky enough to meet the Prince of Wales and um, receive a Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award hmm. back in 1994 or five. When you were young. When I was young. So how did you... You know, when you when you sold NBC to Rollins, and it was a pest control company with a national coverage here in the UK, but how did you go from those first two contracts? I mean, what was the progression of adding on pest control services? And I guess what would the early stages of the business look like, really? That's really interesting how we went from bird control to pest control. And, and even, again, throughout the period, and even now, people will say, Oh, NBC, you do pest control. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's ended up it's probably 50-50 of the business now is, is equal between pest control and, and falconry related services. We're still the largest employer of falcons, probably in Europe, I say we, NBC. The exit of NBC it almost happened a bit by chance. We'd had some good years and the business was on a good trajectory. I recognised that the marketplace was potentially changing. Um not so much the marketplace, but more the economy, if you like. You know, mm-hmm. we, we, you could see that the growth from COVID was... Uh, it was artificial. It was artificial. And that, that at some point that was going to change. Uh, and my finance director said to me one day, he was talking about his um, own exit and how long he was going to stay. And he said, well, we, you're probably going to be exiting soon, aren't you? And I thought, well, I haven't really. Uh, uh, Why do you ask? (laughs) It was a bit like that. (laughs) And it got me thinking and I started to review around what was around me rather than focusing on driving the business. I just spent a bit of time looking a bit wider. And actually, I came across your Supernova Mm -hmm. blog and it resonated a lot with me. There was a lot I, I could identify with, particularly in the UK. I could sense that the marketplace yeah. for a, a, a potential acquisition was strong. Um, there was a lot of competition in the UK market. You know, how long that was going to go on, I, I suspected wasn't that long. Mm-hmm. The economic outlook, I thought, would, could be challenged. Um, so I took a call with you one day and, and we had a conversation and it sort of progressed Fair from enough. there, really. Yeah. NBC was always and is always about um, its people and they were the ones who made the difference. The business, for it to continue its growth and development, was going to need better support. You know, I wasn't going to be there forever, but for the business and the people who made it what it was, they would be best placed with um, another business who could take it to the next level. And luckily in Rollins, I think we found a good fit.